Hi Taurus, it's and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance, and then possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. So when I see the Emperor, what does it make me think of? It makes me think of firm decisions, strong decisions that are made with knowledge, experience, wisdom, and hopefully they're good decisions that benefit everybody. So you might have to make some decisions for your family, for your relationship for your career, on how you proceed on something. And it's good to think about um, the consequences, the outcomes, and putting it all together so that you can make the right um, choice for people. So the emperor is about ruling in a sense, ruling for the land, for the people, looking for the best for people. We can take that and we can put it in our own lives for our own ecosystem of friends, family, loved ones, and how we make decisions to benefit all. And again, it comes from a place of having experience, having the right um, mindset to make those decisions, being having your heart in the right place as well. So this week, you might have to make an important decision, or maybe you have to make a less important decision that's probably still quite important to some people. Maybe not all people, but some people. So be ready to, to take charge. That's the other thing when I think of the emperor. It's the taking charge. It's the leadership role. Some of us may have to act as a leader within our own community, within our own life this week. And so next to the emperor, here's this beautiful Ace of Cups, one of the most magnificent cards in tarot. The flow of emotions, the ability to find love in all areas of your life, not only with other people, family or friends, but in yourself and in, in the earth of what the earth has to give us and allows us to partake in. And also uh, just the, I think it's the, the spirit of good mankind, which is to appreciate all the things that uh, make us emotionally happy. So I think that this is, this is a week to allow your emotions to flow. And for some uh, you know, maybe there's some been some things on television that have caused tears or have caused you to reflect, and that's okay. It's it's okay to be emotional. It's okay to have uh, these um, maybe unusual feelings coming on board in this time that we're in with this pandemic. Everything is like a new normal, and. Um, whether we feel distress or we feel the stress, um, we're managing. And I think when I see this card, it's a reminder to not repress how I'm feeling. And if I have to talk to someone, if I have to pick up the phone and talk to a dear friend and say, this is, you know, what this is what's going on for me. I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling scared or I'm feeling... Um, so tired of the same old thing that's been happening for the past, whatever, six months or so. So Ace of Cups is the opportunity. And again, Aces can bring opportunities, can bring new experiences into your life. For some, maybe this week, maybe you make a connection, an emotional connection with someone. Wouldn't that be great? You know, it's always great to make connections. 
whether they're on Zoom or whether you've passed someone on the street, you know, you just never know who's out there, where you're going to really connect on that deep emotional level. And so when we see the flowing water, the Ace of Cups, opportunities to experience, to meet, to develop, and to have within your life and your heart. So along those lines, here's the Three of Pentacles. The ideal card of collaboration, of working with others toward a common goal, using your own expertise to create something beautiful, to be an architect, to be a builder, to be a planner, to uh, maybe you have your own store, but it's a reminder that in order to be successful, one has to know how to navigate business relationships, personal relationships, all of those things. And so this week, perhaps there's a focus on your work station, your work environment, and maybe those Zoom calls with 25 people on there, you've got to find a way to make it work for yourself. And it's hard to do. Others may have, uh, you know, in-person meetings where we're having to go through protocols to be safe. But there's a, where there's a will, there's a way to find success in working together. And I think that this card and this message that we're receiving for the week is uh, an idea of, of listening to each other, of gaining feedback, of perhaps some of it is constructive advice, and to take that to heart and to allow it to inform your work, your thoughts, your discussions. It's going to create a better product ultimately, and it's going to create more pride and satisfaction within yourself for, uh, you know, making something beautiful here of creating whatever it may be, creating together. So we see this interesting um, lineup of, of energies, which is leadership, decision-making, collaboration, uh, putting your best effort forth, and then the emotional component, maybe of taking joy and um, pleasure from what you're doing and from all aspects of your life. These are simple things that we can think about as we go through our day um, for the week and such. So kind of my idea of what we see for the uh, energies for the week, and let's go ahead and select an oracle card, and uh, we'll get a maybe a theme or another piece of information for the week. So we see the card answering the call, the time is now. Walking through that door, walking into maybe perhaps something unknown. Answering the call is a, uh, you know, it's listening to one's inner self and feeling ready to take that risk, to take that step. It's, if you keep waiting, it's never going to be the perfect time. You have to be ready to move. You have to be ready to be decisive and to take action. And what happens is what will happen. Whether you are successful in answering that call, pursuing a new path, taking a new direction, whether you're successful or not, the key is to make the move, is to move yourself off of where you are. That's how we develop growth. That's how we develop, um, you know, our own peace of mind. Because otherwise we're stagnant and we get stuck and we can feel not so good about ourselves in that respect. So answering the call this week, the time is now. If you are 
looking to improve a situation if you're in hardship, you know, maybe it's um, really leaning on friends or contacts or whatever it may be, but it's it's moving forward and it's um, moving forward with intent and purpose and answering that call. It's time to find your path, whatever it may be. And circumstances that we live in now, maybe it's a blessing in disguise for some. And uh, answering the call is going to at least put you in um, perhaps a path that's going to fo- be satisfactory and be fulfilling for you. So that's what I see for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here. And If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll come back, and I appreciate you taking the time. Be safe, be well, take care. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.